Good morning, Miss Maricar. Good morning. Good morning, Miss July. Morning. Good morning, Sir Rafi. Hi. Good morning. Doctor Acosta is waiting for you. Thank you, Sir. Hi, Doc A. Do you mind if you join me and ask a few questions? Hi. Of course not. Come in. How's your day so far, Doctor A? Beautiful. On a scale of 1 to 10, how excited are you about life right now? 10. What's the best thing to happen to you today? This interview. <laughs> We're super excited about today too. Describe yourself in a hashtag. Hashtag go girl. Yeah, go girl. What's the first thing you do when you wake up? I check my phone. What's the last thing you do before you go to sleep? I check my phone. <laughs> You're guilty of that too. What's your favorite time of the day? Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. What's, keep, what's keeping you busy these days? Work. Work and work. Hashtag relate. What do you do in your free time? I go out with friends and family and binge on screen time. By the way, is this your first time to go on site? Actually, Dr. Ray, yes, it is. Then, I'm going to give you a tour. Walk with me. This is an exclusive one. <laughs> so, Dr. A, how long have you been an MC? 33 years. What's one thing you learned from online distance learning? Flexibility. What's the best thing you learned from your students online? Morning. That there are new apps that I can use for presentation. What excites you about our new high-flex learning setup? That you can all come back to Miriam College and we can have events, enjoy it, and have warm bodies during those events. What's new about MC that everyone can look forward to? MC is turning 100 in 2026, and we have a lot in store for you. What are you most looking forward to when more students come back on site? Again, warm bodies. I want the noise, I want the joy, I want the screaming and talking. Events would be the best thing to happen again in MC at that point. We super agree and we're really looking forward to that too. What's the first thing you would recommend for students to do or see when they set foot on campus for the first time? I think what they can do first is really breathe in the beauty of our very, very green campus. Any significant lessons the pandemic has taught you? Flexibility. You said in the previous 30 questions that your number one stress reliever is Netflix. What's your current favorite binge? The Crown. Well, that's a good one. What's your current TV obsession? Sorry, I don't watch TV anymore. Everything for me is by demand. How about the comfort TV show or on-demand show? Okay, I love to watch and I'm a subscriber to a lot of YouTube channels so that makes me happy. I love to just go and jump from one YouTube channel to the other. Any recommendations for us? Um, they are on <laughs> us. <laughs> That's a good one. Favorite hobby? Uh, I love to organize and my, my home and I love gardening. How do you spend your day off? Organizing and gardening. So you can listen to on your feet. Oh, the song that I could listen to on repeat, too. And it, I, I could be dated with this, but it's what comes to mind right now. Number one, it's Jason Maraz and Colby Collat's um, Lucky, and Together Again by Janet Jackson. What song makes you dance? Lucky and Janet Jackson's Together Again. That's a good one. Okay, so we are looking at the, this is the play, um, Our Lady's Foyer, and these are the healthy food that Ilao presented, and we would like to give to all the Miriam community members, and this here is my soup. This is Lainia. <laughs> I ordered from them already what I will bring home, but I'm also going to reserve from um, our dear friend here my lunch. So what will be my lunch? One order of manga with bagoong. I'm going to pick that up around 12. One steamed chum ao. 
and three piece of gyoza. That's it for me for my lunch. Okay, see you in a bit. All right. So, do we continue with our questions? Yes, okay, let's. So what's something on your bucket list? I'd like to go to Greece and travel you. What's the biggest sur surprise you've had? Oh, that um, I am where I am right now and that the career that I'm the career that I have been gifted with is something that I am enjoying and I'm thankful for. What's your go-to outfit? Dresses and heels, although this is quite different for today. <laughs> What's who's your favorite style icon? I don't have a style icon, but I love Mango and Zara. Oh, there's a book right behind you. Mm. And that relates to our second quest our next question. What is a book that everyone should read? Little Prince by Antoine Saint Exupéry. That's a good one. What's the best piece of advice you've received? That I can be myself and that I can achieve what I I I I, I dream about. What's the best advice you'd give your teenage self? Be yourself and achieve what you can. How would you define yourself in three words? A caring teacher, a loving, ma a, a lo a loving mommy, and a friend who loves unconditionally. What are three things you can't live without? Family, friends, and food. <laughs> That's a good one. What's one ingredient you put in everything? Anything salty and a little bit spicy. What's inspiring you in life right now? Well, my family, my friends, my work inspire me. I journey with them and for work. What would you like to be remembered for? That I was indeed <laughs> a caring teacher, a loving mom, and a friend who love unconditionally. What's the most adventuring thing you've done in your life? Spelunking in the caves of San Miguel. <laughs> Whoa, you should tell us th about that sometime. How do you define beauty? The beauty of character outshines physical beauty. What is a woman's greatest strength? Pure love in her heart. As a woman, what is the most important thing we should keep in mind? that you can be independent and let no one hinder you from achieving your dreams. How has the MC community helped you grow as a woman leader? MC gave me a lot of opportunities. That is why I am where I am now. What's your favorite app? <laughs> Viber and group chat <laughs> in Messenger. That's a good one. What's your secret talent? My secret? Oh, talent! Um, it, it probably it's not a secret anymore, but I'd like to say that I'm very resourceful and I am indeed a problem solver. You truly are a problem solver. If your life were a song, what would the title be? Lucky? Research on that by Jason Maraz and Colby Collab. Well, that's a common <laughs> recommendation from you, right? So what would your spirit animal be? I love butterflies and dragonflies. Let's enter now the library and media center in the higher education. Hello, magandang umaga. We're just going to shoot and have a bit of a question and answer portion over here. We're gonna move around. Hi, Val. All right, so here we are. This is our higher education units at library and media center. We could actually continue our conversation here. All right, this is a really nice library. A lot of colors, a lot of books. Speaking of which, what's your favorite color? Aqua marine, aqua blue. That's actually the color of my birth month, which is March. <gasps> we'll keep that in mind. <laughs> Coffee or tea? Coffee, definitely. What's the coolest word in the English language? Serendipity. That's a nice one. A skill you're working on mastering? Cooking, unfortunately, that's still something I'd like to explore and continue to be an expert in soon, maybe. Best compliment you've ever received? That I can untangle knots, which means that I am truly 
skilled or talented in problem solving. We agree. Last piece of content you consumed that made you cry. This is not the latest, but it's so memorable that I don't want to view it ever again. Autumn in New York. It did not only make me cry, I bawled. That's and I a did nice not one. stop crying the entire night. <laughs> That's a nice one. If you made a documentary, what would it be about? The Filipino family. That's my bias. If you could switch lives with someone for a day, who would it be with? Michelle Obama. What are you most excited about at this time in your life? The journey that I can further take as I continue with my career and looking forward indeed not to the 100th year of Miriam College that I will be part of its celebration. Your go-to for having a good laugh. Joy. <laughs> we agree. What's your affirmation for today? That I am loved. All right. So do you like our library? Because at this point, I'll bring you to our peace garden. Thank you. Thank you, yes. Thank you so much. So, Doki, what's one thing you miss about MC? I actually miss students, faculty coming to MC. It's really about the on-site engagement, and I wish it will happen soon. How's it like being the college dean? Challenging, but very, very fulfilling. What do you miss teaching on-site? I do teach um, online, excited about it, but I yes, I miss teaching. What's one thing you want MC students to remember about MC? That MC gave them the opportunity to bloom, to be themselves, and that they become relevant citizens of the world. What's we're approaching, by the way, we're approaching the Peace Garden. This is the Peace Garden. It's beautiful, it's green, and of course, being a peace advocate, that's me. Um, this is where I'd like us to continue our discussion and breathe in the beauty of this green campus, of this green place. You know, it, 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 it actually radiates positivity, right? Do you think so? We agree. We're breathing in the cool air and it's really, really crisp. So, Doc A, what's a school event that you wish everyone could experience? You know, I'd love for everyone to join us during homecomings. It's a beautiful, exciting, happy occasion all the time. What's your favorite thing about our campus? It's just green, beautiful, fresh. This is what drew me to actually be a student initially in MC. And now I'm back as an employee. It's such a full circle. If Indeed. there's if there's one thing you hope that students could carry with them for from MC after they graduate, what would it be? I'd like to draw it out from our strategic plan. It's confidence, conscience, and competence. Alright, let's remember that three C's. What's your vision for MC as we near our 100 year anniversary? That it continues to be a school of choice. We have a quick message for your fellow educators. I'd like to thank my colleagues for being committed to the education profession. I'd like to acknowledge them for loving our students and loving Miriam College. Thank you, dear colleagues. Do you have a quick message to the students? It's actually it's my mantra and I'd like to share it with everyone. Find joy and purpose in everything that you do. What's one thing you want to say to the entire MC community? We're celebrating our centennial in 2026. Journey with us. Be part of Miriam College's 100 years and beyond. Dr. A, we are down to our second to the last question, but we, you really have to be honest for this one. How was this Q&A for MCTV 70 Questions first official episode? It was so fun. I'd like to continue it, but you did say it's the second to the last question. <laughs> That's right. Thank you so much, Doc A. So, are we MCTV? Yes, and we've got you covered. <laughs>